Hello, everyone. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you could set up different leave types and assign quotas and balances to your employees. So all you need to do is go to your vacation management section on your dashboard, click on leaves here. And the first page would basically show you the balances for each of your employees. Uh, next, to set up leave types, you need to go to leave types and quotas here. So you'll see a few predefined leave types which you could edit and use it for your organization. But in case you want to create a new leave type, you can just click here on create new and just follow the steps. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you could create a new leave type. Just click on create new. The first option is to assign it a name. So you can assign the name, uh, whether it's a vacation leave, traveling leave, uh, it's just a PTO. You could assign the name. You could also assign a few keywords for your employees to just use it while applying for this leave type. For example, if it's a vacation, you could assign a keyword as, uh, you know, PTO, OOF, out of office. So whenever they type in out of office tomorrow, today, you know, it will automatically pick up on this leave type. Next, you could also assign it an emoji if you're using it on Slack. So that you know, whenever someone is on leave in this specific leave type, uh, their status would automatically change to this particular emoji, and everyone will be well informed about this employee that he's out on vacation or time off. Next, you have show leave type. So when disabled, the leave type will not be displayed publicly on the summary, just the type uh, in different summary announcements and calendars. Next, you have show leave comment. So when disabled, uh, you know, the comment which uh, the employee adds while applying for this leave won't be displayed uh, in summaries, announcements, and calendars. Next is you could make the comment mandatory in case you want more information whenever an employee is applying for this particular leave type. Next, you have show employee available. So when enabled, employees on this leave type will be considered as available for that duration. Then you have show leave on calendar. So when enabled team members on this type of leave will be shown on any public calendar integrated with the tennis spot. And then you have the show leave in channel notifications. So when enabled, uh, you know, this leave type will be uh, shown in channel notifications. Uh, next, you have uh, who does it apply for you. So you can filter it out, you know, who you want this leave type to be available to. So you have all people, everyone here. And the other option is to set it as per the office. So if you have different office, you could, uh, you know, make this leave type only applicable to a particular office. And then there's tenure based. So tenure based basically implies leave type only to be available to employees who have worked a certain amount in the organization. So for example, if you want this leave type only to be available to employees who have worked for more than a year, but less than five years, so you could set that limit. Uh, using office and tenure based uh, leave type. Coming next to the accrual settings. So first of all, you have two options here. In case it's just unlimited for uh, all your employees, you can just set it to unlimited. If it's limited, uh, you need to select limited. Then whether you allot this on a fixed basis or on an hourly basis. So hourly basis implies employees earn time of hours they work. And fixed is, of course, employees earn a set amount every accrual period. So I'll go ahead and give an example of fixed first. So once you select fixed, you need to select the allotment duration. So you have two options here. One is calendar year, which is January 1st to December 31st. And then you have per anniversary based on the person's joining date. And next, you need to set the accrual period, how often you accrue leaves. So whether you allot leaves monthly, yearly, half yearly, every two months. So you have a bunch of options to select from here. I'll go ahead and select with monthly. Then need to feed in the annual leave count in day. So if you allow 24 days in a year, you can just set it to 24. So in this case, the employer would get two days of leave accrued every month, just for this example. Next, you have cap on annual leave count. So this is basically uh, the maximum amount of uh, leaves up an employee could have in his balance so in case i mean in case you don't have a rollover this is insignificant uh, but in case you had a rollover of let's say uh 20 or 25 you could set in a cap on the total number of annual leave count 
Now, what rollover suggests is that uh, if any employee has any leftover leaves during the allotment duration, so for example, it's set to calendar year. So by the time of December 31st, an employee still has like 20 days left. Uh, do you want it to be rolled over to the next year or not? So if you set it to zero, this won't be rolled over. If you set it to 365, any amount of leave that's left would be rolled over to the next year. But if you set it to, let's say 10, out of the 20 leaves that he has left, only 10 will be rolled over to the next year. Next, you have enable prorata. So you could prorate based on someone's joining date. So in case you know a person is joining in July, uh, he'll only get half of what's been allotted for the whole year. So that's how the prorata works. Next is allow negative balances. So in case you want to allow people to apply for time off, even after they have exhausted everything in their balance, you could uh, you know, set a limit to the negative balance as well. And uh, you know, they'll be able to apply for time off until negative uh, five. And whenever they accrue the next set of five leaves, it will automatically get adjusted. Next, you have the option of uh, allowing early time offs, when you, whether you want uh, early time offs in this specific leave type, similarly for half days, and whether you want approval process to be set for this particular leave type or not. Coming next to early, so you could set up you know, hours earned per year for hours work per week here. And similarly, you have the cap on the annual leave count. Then there is a rollover in days. Then you have two different settings here. One is enable overtime for time off. So when enabled, consider overtime hours to calculate time off. And then you have enable time off on paid hours. So when enabled, accrue time off based on all paid hours worked. It includes company holidays and paid time off, right? And then you have the early time off, half days, and approval required. So once you have set everything, all you need to do is click save and it will automatically ap apply for all the employees that you have selected in office or tenure or whether it's for everyone. So I hope the video was good and thank you for your time and take care.